हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर राहुल मुलस्कर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द पीएचडी इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग आई एम द फाउंडर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ द पीसीसी साइंस एकेडमी आई हैव द 16 प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द नीट जेडब्ल्यू एंड सीबीएसई फ्रॉम क्लास 8 टू 10 एंड 11th एंड 12th फॉर नीट जेडब्ल्यू एंड एमएसटीसीटी स्टूडेंट्स so this experience or definitely will be useful for your preparation of class 8 9 10 for your iit need foundation also so today we will see the one important chapters that is the current electricity so let's see what is this chapters first we'll introduce what is this current electricity so this is current current electricity when we will discuss this current electricity first we will discuss what is the current and then we will go for the electricity so any suppose one metal is there or any conductor is there and inside that conductor we have the electrons we have these electrons that is inside the collector in inside the conductor so when these electrons are there and when I have not connected to any supply so these electrons are in the random motion so these electrons are random motion random motion random motion random motion so what happened there the total effect of this random motion total effect of this random motion become zero you know? total effect of this random motion become zero and therefore there is a no any current will flow through this conductor but now what happened when i will take this terminal and when i connect it to the battery when i connect it to the battery then what happened let's see now so now i have connected these uh, two terminals of your conductor to the battery that is a positive and negative then what happened the charge on the electron charge on electron is what charge of electron is negative obviously this is positive terminals so negative charge is attracted towards the positive terminals so if this electron is moving in the upward direction this electron is moving in the down direction now all the electrons are start to attract towards the positive terminals and one by one sequence of the electrons will be there and electron will start to flow in only one direction that is from negative to positive and we know that the opposite to the direction of motion of current current will start to flow that is from positive to negative means the direction of electron direction of electron is from negative to positive and the direction of current direction of current is from positive to positive to negative so this is the concept that when the conductor is connected to the battery or any emf then why the current will start to flow because when the when you are not supplied any power supply the electrons are random in motion and because of this random motion the total effect becomes zero but when you connect this to the positive and negative terms of the battery electrons are now every electron is tries to attract towards the positive terminals and electrons are getting attracted towards the positive terminals so there is no any random motion electrons are flow from negative to positive so obviously we know the opposite direction of that motion of electron is the current is flow and current will start to flow from positive to negative so this is the concept of the how the current is flowing through any conductor when the battery is connected there and the flow of charge yes the flow of charge with respect to time the flow of charge with respect to time is called as a current and that is denoted by i is equal to dq upon dt so this is the definition of the current and its unit is the ampere understood my dear friends so this is a simple concept we have discussed about the current electricity so definitely this concept i hope that every learner has understood this properly and we will see the next part of this chapters in the next session. Thank you.